Welcome back to the Three Foodies channel. Today is what night? Today is, is shrimp Caesar salad night. Oh, it's simple but delicious and fresh. Perfect for the summer season. Little little fun thing to make on a, on a, on a warm summer uh, evening. We're going to do uh, uh, Caesar salad with shrimp and let's get rolling. Okay. All right. First thing we'll do is we're going to make our, our salad dressing. Okay. So first thing we start with, basis of any good Caesar salad, is two cloves of crushed and minced garlic. Okay. Next thing we're going to put in is an egg yolk. Egg yolk provides the base of the dressing and also provides adhesion qualities for the dressing to stick to the salad. Okay. So, and I'm stepping in to ask you a question. So what would you use for someone who is allergic to eggs? Oh uh, boy, that's uh, that's a real good question. Maybe egg beaters? I don't, you know what? I don't know. Uh, main chef over here, you have an idea? I'm not Exe sure. Executive chef, any idea on... Uh... I have to look that up. Would you look that up for us? Thank you. A little research back there? Yeah. Okay, so... Egg yolk and... Um, egg yolk and the garlic. Next is anchovy paste. Put in about two tablespoons of anchovy paste. Alrighty. Mm -hmm. We're going to mix that up. Get everything nice and smooth together. Okay. Now, a little dash of salt, kosher salt, a couple shakes of pepper. Now, this is not a, a technical measurement term, but a little squirt or a little half a teaspoon of mustard. Okay. And that goes. Now, that all mixed up nicely like that. Now we start adding the oil and vinegar. All right. Bring it up, okay? We're going to use go 50-50. Whatever you put in for oil, you put in for vinegar. Use olive oil. Glug, 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 glug. And then we're going to put the same amount of, of vinegar in. Glug, 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 glug. And Hold on for a second. A chef, uh, master chef has a suggestion instead of... The so, egg, we can use what? The egg replacement, you can use silken tofu. Ooh. Yeah. So uh, just like a quarter of a cup of silken tofu, and it actually makes it vegan-like, they say. So mm -hmm. it's actually perfectly Okay, yummy. so about about four ounces of, of, of olive oil, four ounces of white, of white vinegar. Mix everything up, and it turns into what is a beautiful Caesar dressing. I need to tell the executive chef that I put the anchovy in already. Oh, okay, great. Thank you, executive chef. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, hey, now. Just backseat cooking. <laughs> that takes care of that. Next, let's work on our shrimp, okay? We have some beautiful, right here, shell de vein shrimp. Next, what we do is, we basically, we're going to coat the shrimp with a couple tablespoons of olive oil, okay? Get that all mixed together, just like that. All right. Next, we're going to take some basic Cajun seasoning, okay? And we're going to coat the shrimp with the Cajun seasoning. Okay. Mm -hmm. There you go. Gives a little zing to it. All right. So and then a little touch of salt. Touch of pepper. Don't be afraid to season. A lot of people get kicked off a chop for not seasoning. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. We have a pan heating up here. Cast iron, please. That's the healthiest form of, of cooking uh, type of cookware. The executive producer of this show is crazy about using things that don't cause issues with you. Right. She, that's the way she works. That's the way she operates. Okay, so now that we've got the, the shrimp all covered with oil and seasoning, it's going to go in the pan. Alrighty. Next, what we're going to do is we want to get this on a fairly high heat. And I'll show, I'm going to show you a real quick little secret, because the last thing you want to do is overcook the shrimp. Right. They end up being like little little balls of rubber. Mm -hmm. okay? So what we do is we get one side cooked, we get the other side cooked, we take it off the heat and let the let the cast iron finish the cooking. 
How many minutes per site? Uh, we're gonna do about two minutes per site. Oh. Okay. And these are some fairly good sized shrimp. These are 30, 21 to 30 count per pound. Excellent. And that works best with salad. Okay. So, while we're doing that, I'll bring the executive producer over here. I have a good sized head of romaine lettuce. Mm -hmm. As you can see, it's pretty good size, all right? So, what we're gonna do next is, when the shrimp is, comes off the heat, we're gonna take this romaine lettuce, we're gonna break it up into three parts, okay? And then that will go into the, um, uh, the dressing, and we'll address the salad. Delicious. Yes, it is, I know. Okay, now let's keep an eye on this. Would you recommend adding some kind of lemon juice to it, or? Um, you can. Um, I've chosen not to use lemon juice tonight. Basically, because when I went to a uh, grocery store earlier, I forgot to get it. But if you do like a little tartness to it, you can throw a little lemon in there. Okay. So, you know, I'm, I'm making sure that the side that has not been cooked is to the pan. Okay. Dad, look how pretty that's getting. Oh my goodness. Okay, now now that that's one more of those guys. Let's just come over. That guy right there. Okay. Now at this point, it's been on each side about two minutes. We are going to take it off of the heat. Mm -hmm. And we're going to let the pan do the rest of the work. Because that cast iron will stay hot for quite a while. Okay. okay. Now, let's swing back over here. I need to go to the, uh, to the pantry for one other thing. Okay, I'm just sitting here supervising. You're great. Yes, the, the executive chef is over there being a lady of leisure tonight. Okay, one, two, three, and don't take it all the way to the top because that normally gets to be a little dry. Okay. okay. Now, next That's thing we're right. going to do is we either take two um, salad things or do what I do to get the salad completely dressed. Okay. You see how nicely that 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 salad adhere the dressing adheres to the salad. That's that good old fashioned egg. Okay. Now that. Takes care of that. Voila. Just wash my hands real quick here. Now I am going to now in serving, I will do it the formal way. Put a nice don't be shy. This is nice and light. Everybody can eat as much as they want. And don't worry about the waistline. Now, next, we're going to next we're going to take some of our shrimp. It has a little bit of Cajun seasoning on it. We're going to put that on the top. And this will be the, this is for the executive producer, so this has to be a very, very special plate. Okay, put that nice like that. And then, last is grated Parmesan cheese. Mm. Okay, which I grated earlier. And just sprinkle on top. Touch, a little bit of touch of pepper. There you have it. Homemade Crimson. Caesar salad with, with Cajun shrimp. What kind of 
kind of wine are we serving with that? Oh, uh, we can serve anything to the lighter red side. Cabernets, Pinots, that goes very, very well, especially with that hint of pepper. All right. Enjoy. Enjoy.